Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. Hey guys, today in this video, I am going to discuss a very important question of quantum mechanics, which has been asked in the CSR Net Physics Exam in December 2019. I hope that this discussion which I am going to do in this video will help you all to understand the concepts and to know about the right approach for solving the new questions in the exam. Because when we are preparing for any exam, we can get the new questions there. We can't expect the repeated questions every time or the same type of questions every time. So we should be ready to solve any new question as well. If you will focus on the points I'm going to discuss with you, you will not face any difficulty in solving the new questions. Now let's quickly start the discussion and if you are new on this channel, you can subscribe this channel, click on the bell icon after clicking on subscribe so that you will get the notification for the new videos which I will upload on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam. So guys, our question is the energy eigenvalues of a particle of mass m confined to a rigid one dimensional box of width L R E N. So these are the energy eigenvalues which have been mentioned. For N is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on to if the walls of the box are moved very slowly towards each other. Clear? So this is going to be a very important statement in this question. The rate of change of time dependent energy that is d e2 upon dt we need to find of the first excited state. So first of all this can be a new question for some of the students and mainly most of the students were mentioning like in this recent exam that means in December 2019 we had the difficult questions, the questions were uh, new, they were like different than the previous year's questions. So guys just to keep this point clear that questions were quite easy and not only one question, so many questions are there. I will discuss one by one many other questions as well. So if you are new on this channel, subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon so that you will not miss any discussion which is going to be important for your upcoming exam. Now guys in this case, to solve it easily, you just need to focus on few things. What are these things? First of all, are you ready to solve any question related to the topic which is involved in the question? Did you prepare it? Did, do you know any formula related to this topic, this system which is involved in the given question? If yes, there are 99.9% .9 chances that you will be able to solve this question. So that's how you can get sure about this thing whether it's possible for you to solve it or not. So even in the other case, sometimes when we have not prepared any such topic, still there are chances we can solve such kind of questions. But in this case, when we know about the topic, when we have prepared it, there are great chances that we can solve it. Clear? So here the system is one dimensional box. What is the system? 1D box. Clear? So first of all, I have focused on the system in this question that whether we know about it or not. When we know about it, that's very good. Second thing, guys, what we need to find, we need to find d2 upon d3. That means the rate of change of time dependent energy that is d2 upon dt. Do we know the general expression for energy? Because with the help of that only we will be able to relate it. Clear? So yes, we know for the 1D box the general expression for the energy state energy is En is equal to n square pi square h square square upon 2 and l square where l is the width which is already given as l. And here the possible values of n are 1, 2, 3 and so on. So minimum value of n which is possible is 1. It's not 0. Clear? So this should be clear to us. Next thing, the required parameter which we need to find the required value that is d2 upon dt. Okay, now what is e2 here? For n is equal to 2 you will get e2. Clear? So yeah, here you just need to put n is equal to 2 in this formula. And one more thing, even if they are not going to mention this term d2 upon dt, they have mentioned the first excited state. So n is equal to 1 will give you the value for the ground state, n is equal to 2 will give you the value for the first excited state. So this should be clear to all of us. Clear? Next thing. When we are going to put n is equal to 2, we are getting this expression that is d by dt because we want to find this. Clear? And when both the walls are moving towards each other slowly, slowly, what is going to get changed? The width. There will be change in the value of L. So when we are 
differentiating with respect to time, we will differentiate what? The L value. Clear? So now we will differentiate, uh, differentiation now we need to do. And after differentiating it, we will be able to observe that we are getting the value or the complete expression as minus 2 e2 upon L dl by dt, which is matching with option C. Okay, so you can see the main things, the main steps were quite easy. And why I have taken time to let you know about all these things guys, because I want you to get ready for solving any such kind of question. If it is even new for you, you are solving it for the first time. So that's our step by step. If you will start solving the question, it's going to be quite easy for you and you will not find it difficult at all. Done? So this was a question from December 2019 CSIR Net Physics exam. I hope it is clear to you. We will even discuss more questions from the previous years. Okay, in our upcoming videos. So that will even be helpful for all of you. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. If you are new on this channel, subscribe the channel. Also guys, if I am going to talk about the Unacademy Plus subscription, because if you want to get the guidance by the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming exam preparation, to prepare very well to get the guidance by the top educators, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription. After taking the subscription, you will get so many benefits like weekly quizzes, dark clearing sessions, mock tests, PDF of important notes will be available to you. Along with that, guys, you will be able to watch the recordings of the session as well even if you have missed any of the classes and you are taking the subscription now so you will be able to cover up that portion also if you will have any doubt anywhere in any of the topics when you are watching the recordings you can ask about that in the doubt clearing session clear so that's how you will be able to clear each and everything you will be able to get them very clearly done so guys, if you are going to take the Unacademy Plus subscription, you can even use the referral code that is Anshri Arora. You just need to write it as it is, like no space in between. Okay, spelling should be same as you will be able to see it on the screen right now. Clear? And that's how by writing and by applying the referral code Anshri Arora, you will get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount. Clear? I hope each and everything is clear to you and guys there are so many courses going on right now many new courses are going to start soon so which will surely help you in doing the best preparation and in knowing about uh, the right approach, right strategy, the best ways of the preparation to get the guidance by the top educators and so many things. So thank you so much everyone for joining this session and for watching this video till the end. Thank you.